Minecraft Mentor here and today we're going over the water wheel from Immersive Engineering and I like to set this one up like this. We're just going to build three blocks high, place down our kinetic dynamo. Next we're going to go three blocks back with whatever you want. I'm just using glass because it's easier to see through. Same thing on this side. We're going to go three back from center, four forward, one like that and like that. And that's just going to keep your water in once you set up the rest of the dynamo. You can also make this three wide because the kinetic dynamo can actually handle three water wheels but for the sake of the tutorial we're just going to use one so as you can see the kinetic dynamo has this black spot that's where you're going to place your water wheel and if we come on the back side here you can also see that it's got two outputs one from the top and one from the side you can use either and we're going to place down an lv connector and then an accumulator down here this little blue spot shows that's where you input it you can change it to uh any one of the sides if you like, but I like putting it on the top. So a connector here, grab your LV wire coil, click it there and then there, and now you're connected up. So any power this generates is gonna go to your accumulator, not be wasted. Next, after that, we're gonna click here and bring up some blocks. Go back one from center or two like that. That's so the water doesn't flow out everywhere. And then we're gonna go forward just enough to allow the water to flow out and down into here. So you're basically matching the exact thing we did down there. All right. So next, we just need to place our water and we're gonna start generating power. Oh, also, we wanna put one on the sides here just to hold the water in. <clears throat> now, if you noticed, if we get rid of the water and let it flow properly, the water wheel slowed down and that's because it was only getting uh, kinetic energy from one side so if we place this down here it's going slow and then once the water reaches underneath it starts going faster and there's a lot of different efficiency things we can do with this I'm just showing the, you the uh, basic tutorial for this and this world constantly rains but if you uh, adjust your water and play around with it you can actually get it going faster than it is but this is the basic setup for the water wheel now if you found this helpful like comment subscribe